Hello everyone, I am post-commentating hexagons, back with a long overdue serving of Yoshi's Crafted World. In this episode, a lot of sped up stuff, so be prepared for that. So, I'm gonna be talking over this whole thing because I have no idea how to go about doing this episode. Because what I did was I, I went through most of the first worlds of the game, well, all of the first ones up to a point, and cleared out all of the find the stuff in the background stuff, and find the hidden guy in a box, and oh, here we are at the first thing already. Because our uh, thing was look for crabs, and there's a crab here. So, th there you go, we found a crab. And back into speed up time. So, I admit, I recorded this like a month and a half, two months ago. I don't actually remember at this point. I'm recording this at 8 o'clock on the last day of 2020. This was, I, I don't know, I'll put on screen when I actually recorded this, but uh, yeah, so how's everyone doing? The year is almost over. I wonder if that octopus will be relevant later. Oh, there's another crab. I believe the octopus we just saw is relevant, but not for the reason you're thinking. We'll get to that in due course. And also, I just now remembered, I was being really fefeftable with this particular, like, journey through this level, because I was also looking for, you see that in the background there? Well, clearly I did, but the coins wouldn't let me get it. That box in the background, because I was missing a red coin here, I have that now, congratulations, me. There are a couple of other levels as well that I went back to that I was formerly missing red coins and or flowers in, and I've since gone back. I will get them in this episode, you will see. And anyway, what's that I see in the background? Why, it's an entire Sprout Butterfield. You know, that's his name. So yeah, we found him, and uh, keep playing. I, I, I have thoughts about that menu, we'll get to those in due course, but uh, for now, we're, we're nearly there. You know where the last crab is if you watched, like, episode one of this LP. It's right there. There we go. We found the crabs. And then we just sort of exit the course. It's really convenient and friendly and nice that it lets you do that. Just, oh, hey, I've I've got everything. Don't make me do the whole level again. You, you don't have to do the whole level again if you don't want to, but you can if you do want to, which is also good. Now then, editing for your convenience. Zoop, and we're back into the overworld. Whoa, you, you found, found me some crabs. As thanks for your help, help, I present you with this. this. Yes, give me the good stuff. I'll, I'll cut out some of the faffin. I've, I've got, got another request. request. I'd, I'd love a pirate ship, ship please. Pretty sure this one can only be seen on the flip side of the port. If you see one, just toss an egg at Mark Zuckerberg. Ugh, nearly out of inwardly drawn breath. But, uh, yeah. In, in future situations, I, I will cut out all of the, the chaff between situations. Between situations, this is so descriptive. Anyway, I'm gonna skip over the pirate ship for now, because Poochie's tape trail is one of the levels, like I just said, and if you can hear fireworks outside, blame the neighbours, they shouldn't even be having fireworks, but I digress. So, I, I chose to come here before doing anything else in Yarktopus Darks, because we're missing some flowers here. Uh, one of them was me being terrible at a go into the background and find a house thing, and others... You'll see, I had a bit of a time, so once again, you might notice I'm being rather thorough, or thorough as Americans pronounce it, that's like a running joke with me, because I'm trying to locate the things what I previously missed. And let me know how you feel about this format, by the way, because, like, I, I sped everything up to 500% so that you can see, like, if you, if, if for whatever reason you're using this as a guide, like, follow along and be like, okay, play this amount of level until you get to the point where I'm no longer sped up. I feel like that's more useful than just straight cutting to where the, the final things are, and like, this video is 22 and a half minutes long, or thereabouts. Anyway, th this is the, the thing that uh, I was talking about, where I, I was terrible at it originally, so let's give it a fresh second attempt. I'm out of eggs, go over here, get some more. Can I do it? Have I succeeded? Of course I did. Why else would I leave it in, except... Uh, why else would I have not stayed in speed-up mode? Anyway, um, yeah, this recording session was an hour and twenty minutes, or eighty minutes if you prefer it that way inclined, so, uh, yeah. Be grateful that I've sped it up. Let me know if there's some other way you'd prefer me to handle this for future worlds, because this format works for me. Now, this area here. Good dangus! I noticed that you can hit that with an egg, and sure enough, back there, there is a red kern. So, now we're missing four. You would've thought all five would be together, but you thought incorrectly. Now, over yonder, in the background, a box amongst the boxes. Once again, we have found Sprout, and no! 
Yeah, I accidentally hit exit level. That's the one thing with the would you like to leave. Yeah. So, back to where we just were, like literally just right where we just were, this was another one of those skill game situations that I was terrible with the first time I was here because... Here's the thing with Poochie. If you jump while Poochie's moving to the right, then... Like, Yoshi does sort of auto-move with him a little bit, because when I was doing it the first time, I was holding right, which meant that I overcorrected and landed after where Poochie was, because it does sort of per thrust you forwards a bit, and also have a little bit of recording corruption at this point, and I'm not sure why, so okay. I did a little cut there, because I spent like five minutes faffing until I eventually found this, which gave me the four red coins I was missing, but I'm still missing a flower. And you see that there? Because I sure didn't. Well, I did at this point in the recording, evidently, but uh, yeah, just be grateful, because I went, I backtracked through like half the level before coming back and finally finding these, so that's what that cut was about. Uh, we'll, we'll just take it back to the end goal and have a merry little dance until Christmas. And bear in mind, today's the 31st of December 2020. We've got a bit of a wait ahead of us. So, yeah. The bottom line is, if Poochie's moving to the right, don't also hit right on the control stick because then you'll overcorrect and land ahead of him and it'll throw off your timing when collecting Blurn, for instance. Just, if you need to jump on Poochie, jump straight up, you'll automatically stay in vertical alignment with him which is what threw me off the first time I tried to do that. So, go go Yoshi next, because I figured we were in the area, and I have a couple of things outstanding here, namely getting a halfway decent score with my arch rival, uh, finding Sprout, which is what we're doing here, and uh, yeah, two flowers that are just generally in the level, and flowers for getting good score. So that that's our focus for the here and now. And hey, okay, it's going relatively well so far, and yeah, I just sort of backed that sign, and surprisingly, Sprout was inside it. Didn't exit the course this time, that's a personal little win for me. So here's the rest of this particular run, just in case I happen to be good at stuff, because there's that flower in that box there, which I've missed once again. Uh, there's that one which I got that time, so I'm not completely terrible. I, I got a flower. I should probably go back and unspeed that section up now that I think about it, but yeah, there, there you go. I, I, I got and flower. But did I get enough for any other additional flow? Surprisingly, yes. I did slightly better than the previous times. So now we're just missing two flow here, one for getting a good score, and one for not missing the truck. The truck missed. I missed the truck. It's a two-way street. Let's try that again. Now, can I draw attention to the fact that I've hidden my score here quite deliberately? So yes, there we go. Finally got that truck. It was unfun and uneasy. But the question is, do I have score enough to finally get the final flower for getting 9,000 or more in score. Place bets now because we're about to find Diddly out. <laughs> no! Basically the highest score you can get without getting enough. So, surprisingly, and you might not believe this, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't, but this is 100% truth. This was exactly the next attempt after the one you just saw, which in turn was exactly the next after the one you saw before that. So, yeah, I got progressively better each time. Worship me, praise me, give me ham. I'm not a fan of ham. Uh, so yeah, there you go. 9,070. I can do it, I'm just not very good. Because Gogo Yoshi is just the bane of my nightmares. Except not. I'm just terrible at Gogo Yoshi. I don't know why. It's it's not as easy as it looks, to be fair. It takes it took some practice, but then again, I had the same issue with that uh, snowboarding level in Kirby's Epic Yarn. So, swingers and roundy bouts? Question mark. So anyway, now that we've got all of those squared away, I'm doing a sort of mafia hand gesture. I'm not sure why. So yes, we've found Sprout. We've got all of the outstanding red coins and flowers from Gogo Land. So, what did I choose to do next? Ah, uh, yes. Back into Gogo Yoshi to get the Poo Poo Pups, because I was terrible at this originally, for the same reason I was terrible at Gogo Yoshi in general. Just catch up with the truck that just sort of runs away, punch it, get a child, advance through the rest of the level. And luckily this and the, uh, the, the Pokemon Snap level from like the jungle area much later on, this one was ones where you'd be hard pressed to not get to the end within the time limit, for obvious reasons. So anyway, we're chasing a UFO, which reminds me of a time. I, 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 can I get? Yeah, there we go. 
I remember there was a, a Cartoon Network like magazine or something from back in the day and one of them had a comic that well, like it had comics based on the cartoons and one of them was based on Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And I know at one point, Big Ed said UFO, but it was very much not clear whether he was saying the letters or just pronouncing it as a word, just as a random non sequitur like he does. Ed, Ed and Eddie was the tits, by the way? So... I don't know, this, I, I was talking to my mother yesterday about kids' TV shows, what I remember, and I feel like that's a conversation best saved for a, a live recording. Anyway, as previously stated, they were finally here to look for pirate ships. I thought to myself, that's a pirate ship, does that count? It does not. So let's go hunting for the one that we were actually told to look for, and hey, keep an eye out for anything else that looks like it might be, uh, you know, something that we might want to get in a, a later hunt for ship, item, or other souvenir mission. We'll be back to do more of these, and hey, there's a non-corrupt taker me getting that poochie pup. I have no idea what's causing the corruption, by the way. I might just have to update my drivers. Anyway, that there in the background, breathe, Tess, is indeed the pirate Shapepe. You know, because I felt like spelling it with an extra P and an E. Old-timey Britain. Right then. Ooh, Ooh, you sound me a pirate. Yeah, thanks thanks for your help. help. I present you with this. I'm going to have so much fun editing this episode a third time. I've, I've got, got another request. request. I'd, I'd love, love a squid, please. Explore every angle to spot the squid on the flip side. side. If, if you see one, just toss a egg. It like a bug. Going back in post, a subs- I always had- I already had to edit this footage once to, uh... Okay, why did I come in here? Oh yes, I, I was looking for Sprout. Yeah, I had to edit this footage once just to, like, make the cut-down version that I'm watching and commentating over now. And I'm gonna have to edit it again to make the commentary work in it. The, the things I go through for you ungrateful kids! Uh, I don't know. P people were grateful when I posted my first Eurovision review of the 2021 season, so I don't know. Anyway, do you see what I see in the background over there? Sure enough, it's Sprout! Have Sprout! I'm gonna call him Sprout from now on, like, has to have a rolled R, replace the U with either a U with a circumflex or a second O. But anyway, here's a tricky part. Finding the squid in many fish in the sea. This is tricky, to say the least, and also just demonstrating you can in fact get the blue poo poo pop without having to, you know, fuff your shenangery. But right, so, the squid. Believe it or not, I managed to walk right past it when I was doing this originally. And, uh, yeah, th that cut just there. The squid is on the back of the octopus I drew attention to earlier. You might notice the timer in the top right corner. It took me forever to realize... I, I went to the end level and had to come back in order to find it. Like, I, I spent ages searching. Whoa, you found me a squid. I'd like to help I present you with this. Give me the flow. Give me the juice. I've, I've got, got another, another request. request. I'd, I'd love a steamboat, steam please. I, I saw one on the flip side, side of the fork, but I can't recall what it looked like exactly. If, if you see one, just toss an egg and mark Zuckerberg. You know the deal at this point. Let's head back into Pirate Pierre. And, uh, maybe there was something we saw previously when I mentioned keeping an eye out for things that look like they might be collectible later down the line. So let's just head ahead and find... Oh my, what's that? A thing I threw an egg at previously? It's Steamboat Willy. We succeeded. And by that I mean I succeeded in editing and recording. I've got another request. I'd love some small sprite, please, please. Flish, please. You get the idea here, so let's just head back in and forthwithery fight. Now these, these are small friends. You have to really keep your eyes peeled. Like there's one right there. Would you see it? Well, I've pointed it out to you. And this feels like a, a, a The Dress, a Yanny Laurel situation. Obviously in the HUD, the, uh, the fish look, like, yellow and pink, and actually, like, looking through my editing software as well, they look yellow and pink in post, but, like, on the TV, they look red and white. So, you know, how do you feel? You see, I, I did not even see that just there. Like, I, I'm, I'm watching this in post, and I did not even realize that I almost went right past that. And then there's one there as well, which I very nearly would have just skimmed past where I'm playing the level, but, uh, nope. There it is, we found all five. I've got a request for ya! Huzzah! And you know what that means? We've completed Yoctopus Docks, which means we get flowers spindling down from the sky. Huzzah! You collected all the mighty flowers in Yoctopus Docks! Time for an awkward edit! Yeah, I, the recording just sort of stopped there, which is probably for the best. Because, as I said, you know, it, if I record for too long it gets all glitchy, you've seen how it is. I don't know what causes that. I will, I will do something to fix that before my next LP of that, you can rest assured. Anyway, we are looking for a clothesline to refresh your memory. We were asked for this ages ago. We know it's there. We've got it. We found an clothesline. Huzzah. What, I, I, are you Wesley Stickler? 
I've, I've got, got another request. request. I'd love, love a paper, paper aeroplane, please. It's an aeroplane. It's a plane. It's, it's a plane with aerodynamic properties. <laughs> it's called airplane because it played through air. That's such a bloody hell, America. Anyway, yeah. Wesley Stickler panty snatching Apollo Justice. The pieces are there. Put the joke together yourself. We were asked to find the clothesline ages ago, we have since found it. Once again, keep an eye out for anything that might look collectible later down the line. We may have to come back for them, but first... Paper airplane, just kind of just casually sitting there. It, it's so easy to overlook just because, like, you see it and not realise you've seen it because it blends in. I've got another request. I'd love some milk bottles, please. I think five to do the trick. A bottle of whole milk. I bet you'll find one on the bed side. A bottle- well, thanks for clarifying that a milk bottle is a bottle that holds milk. Now. Bizarrely, with this, three of them are in this town area at the start. There's one, and there's a second, and there's a third. Literally, more than half of them are in this town area, and then the fourth one is right outside the entrance to the town. So we found those three, and then immediately the next one's just there. And the big clue there is a carton that says Moo Moo Meadows Milk. Ah, references. Was Moo Moo Meadows in anything other than the Mario Kart games? And right in the background there, again, really easy to miss, but just before the paper aeroplane. Like, you could barely see it on the screen there. Again, it just blends in. Keeping it tricky in World 1. I've got a request for ya. So once again, we get twirly woos that spindle down and plug into the floor, and that's how you know you've 100%ed an area. Well, you, you can collect those smiley clouds in Sunshine nice Station. That I did. So to reiterate, you get these fancy quandle flowers if you've found every smiley flower, including all of the souvenir hunts. I don't know if that counts for finding Sprout as well. So hey, can you help me find some souvenirs? Let's see here. I'd love a crown, please. You might imagine a Prince of Frogs wearing one. If you see one, just toss an egg in Mark Zuckerberg. So yes, I'm not 100% sure if finding Sprout counts towards, like, flower percent completion. And I'm not sure if, uh... Why am I drawing like, oh yes, getting every costume. So, certainly, if you do, if you find every flower hidden in the level, and you find all the Poochie Pops within the time limit, and you do all of these souvenir hunt missions, that's definitely required. Flowers grow a smile on just about anyone's face. You've heard all this before, though. I got another request. I'd love some derby feet, please. I think seven would do the trick. I saw a lot in the place with whiskey tape. It had lots of colours. Something to that effect. Now, as I predicted way earlier on, Yes, derby sheep. Not derby sheep, not derpy sheep, but derby sheep. White wool, black face. That's the one time that someone can say black face and people don't go, oh. But yes, the, the ones with the yellow faces do not count. They have to be the ones with the black faces, so keep an eye out for those. And you might recall there's one at the top of that tree over there. You see, what, what's up there? I've already forgotten what I was just saying. Oh yes. So if you're going for spindly twirly woo percent completion, I did this again just because I was here and I need the coins, by the way, because I want to buy all the costumes. Yes, so doing what I described gets you the twirly woos. I don't know if finding Sprout and getting all the costumes does, but I'm going to go for doing that anyway. So, you know, it's all a Marigova Sprout sheep. And you might recall, there's a derby sheep where that bloody hidden red coin was. So, yes, you can't hide from me. Nothing hides from me. Even I can't hide from me. I've had dreams about playing hide and seek before, and I specifically remember once I, like, I was about to be found, so I pressed pause. The pause menu from Sonic Adventure 2 came up, and I was like, mm, quit, and then I woke up. So, you know, I'm normal. Actually, I'm not, and uh, I don't think I'm fooling anyone here. Anyway, we're back here again, and just to flex on myself, I'm going to get the red coins and the flower again a subsequent time. And there's the black sheep there. Well, it's not a black sheep. It's a white sheep with a black face hiding in the background. Easy to overlook. Easy to keep your eyes peeled. You need to get good, basically. I've got, got another, another request. request. I'd love a pumpkin, please. Pumpkins have twisty lines, don't they? Get the poopy pumps to help you, sir. That's your clue to say, look in the flip side. It, the game does make it clear in the menus if you need to be in the flip side to find something, but nevertheless, it, sometimes they'll give you just little clues like that. But there will be obvious signage saying, hey, you can only find this on the flip side. Or on the not flip side, because if it's in one, it won't be in both, I believe. So if it's on the flip side, it won't be on the front side. And hey, pictured here, a pumpkin. I so nearly just went past it because it doesn't really look like a pumpkin. Like it looks, it looks like a pumpkin, but it doesn't look a pumpkin. I've got another request. I'd love a tulip, please. I saw one amongst some other blooming flowers on the flip side with a twist detail. So let's head over there and is it a tulip? Is it? Are you sure it's not just some sort of papercraft interpretation of, like, the fire flowers as depicted in, like, 
Super Mario Land 2, which is a good game, by the way. Potential streamable? I'm not sure. But anyway, it's surprisingly not far away from where the pumpkin was, I believe. Like, it's that sort of area. And going through this level so many times, both forwards and backwards, in order to get the, uh, the, the collectibles and whatnot, gave me an appreciation for how it has this sort of seasons aesthetic. Like, you start in spring, you see right there in the background, so easy to miss because the tape is so thin. But yeah, you start in spring, you go through summer, autumn, and winter, and that's it's, it's a, such a cool aesthetic for a level I didn't even fully appreciate the first time I was there. I'd like to have a request for you. You know what that means. Twirly woos! So yes, we now have twirly woos everywhere for the first three areas, and... Huzzah! You collect all smiley flowers in Go-Go Land. Because of course there can't be souvenirs in Go-Go Yoshi level, so... I just burped. I decided to go over to Hidden Hills to wrap things up here, and completely ignore the guy who has requests. We'll get to him eventually. But, uh, I've been going after getting as many coins as I can so that I can come back and get these costumes! And these are the most expensive ones, so now that we've got these out of the way, everything should be- it should be downhill from here. So, yeah. Let me know if you like this format, because this is how I intend to cover the rest of the, like, bonus stuff in the game. If you don't like it, I'll find some other arrangement, but if you do, then- then we're Gucci! Yes, Pink Poochie Pup, the Black Poochie Pup, and the next one for some reason is listed as the Light Blue Poochie Pup. It's the only Blue Poochie Pup! Why do you just specify light? Also, more Labo-based costumes. I actually acquired the variety kit, like, Labo thing from the local branch of CEX, but that's a story for another time. I have available to continue to be Tesla Hexagons in the next episode. More bonus stuff!